The next question, the member for Chatham-Kent Leamington. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. Uh, what's the ministry's position on PPE and masking of care workers in order to control transmission of COVID in a hospital setting? Are these reasonable and effective measures to keep patients safe? And to reply, the Minister of Health. Well, thank you very much to the member for the question. There are numerous ways that one can keep oneself oneself safe. One is vaccination. Vaccination is the single best way to protect yourself, protect your loved ones, protect your community, protect everyone around you. That's why we are urging everyone to be vaccinated, and the vast majority of people are, including workers in health care. But there's other steps that need to be taken. Use of PPE is obviously very important. Masking is very important. Social distancing is important. Ventilation is important. There are many steps that need to be taken to to protect people from COVID. Not just one single thing, but a, a number of different issues taken together are protecting Ontario patients and residents. And the supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker, and, and, and thank you for that response, Minister. I appreciate it. But if PPE and masking of staff are both reasonable and effective measures to keep patients safe, then the government's vaccination policies against unvaccinated health care workers is clearly unconstitutional under the current circumstances because the government obviously has alternative effective measures available to keep everyone safe, both vaccinated and unvaccinated alike. Now, if unvaccinated health care workers have the option to stay on the job, keeping patients safe by masking and wearing PPE, how can you possibly justify not going with this reasonable accommodation that will cause minimal impairment of charter rights and avert foreseeably catastrophic hospital staff shortages that will follow from the government's current policy? Minister of Health. Well, as I indicated in my first response, the single most important thing anyone can do is be vaccinated. Be vaccinated twice. That is what all of the organizations around the world have said, the World Health Organization, the FDA, NACI, Health Canada, all of those organizations have indicated that is the most important thing. There are, of course, other steps that need to be taken with masking and PPE, but even for those hospital workers that are yet unvaccinated, and again, we're urging everyone to be vaccinated, and the vast majority of health care workers have. They still need to be tested on a regular basis before they can come into work. But that is important. You raise the issue about people leaving the profession if they're not vaccinated. That is why the Premier has written a letter to the hospitals and other health care organizations across the province to understand what their concerns are about staff losing staff. And in British Columbia, Spons? as the member may know, they've had to cancel some of their surgeries because they have four thousand people that are going to be leaving that are not vaccinated. So this is a very important consideration, one that we're considering. Thank you very much. Thank you. The next question, the member for Carleton. 